Welcome to our Good Friday service, a service of shadows and stones. This service was mostly written by a colleague of mine, Reverend Erica Schemper. Before we begin, if you wish, please pause this tape and it, find a stone that you can hold throughout the service. Feel the weight of it as you consider the weight of the darkness of this day. When the service is finished, release the stone back to the earth. Also, if you wish, you may light seven candles or lights. Throughout the service, each candle will be extinguished. Lower the lights in your room so you may experience the increasing darkness. Take time after the service to remain in silence. Let us begin. All you who pass this way, look and see the shadow of sin. All you who pass this way, look and see the weight of the world. All you who pass this way, look and see the suffering of our Savior. All you who pass this way, look and see the sorrow of Jesus Christ. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Go to dark Gethsemane, all who feel the tempter's power, your Redeemer's conflict see, watch with him one bitter hour. Turn not from his griefs away, learn from Jesus Christ to pray. Follow to the judgment hall, view the Lord of life arraign. Oh, the wormwood and the gall, oh, the pangs his soul sustained, shun not suffering, shame, or loss. Learn from Christ to bear the cross. Calvary's mournful mountain climb, there adoring at his feet. Mark the miracle of time, God's own sacrifice complete. It is finished, hear him cry. Learn from Jesus Christ to die. The Shadow of Condemnation. Luke 23, verses 26 through 34. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country. And they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of people followed him and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. 
Then they will begin to say to the mountains, fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals on one, uh, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. Forgiving Christ, when the world condemns us, when wrong is done to us, when we carry the weight of things that are too much to forgive, come alongside us in the darkness and give us the grace to be forgiven and forgiving. Forgive our sins as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray, but you alone can grant us grace to live the words we say. How can your pardon teach and bless the unforgiving heart that broods on wrongs and will not let old bitterness depart. In blazing light, your cross reveals the truth we dimly knew. What trivial debts are owed to us, how great our debt to you. Lord, cleanse the depths within our souls and bid resentment cease, then bound to all in bonds of love, our lives will spread your peace. The Shadow of Separation, Luke 23, verses 35 to 43. And the people stood by, watching. But the leader scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me, when you come into your kingdom. And he replied, 
Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Reconciling Christ, we are weighed down by sin and separation. A world that is not at peace. People who are not whole. You reached out to the thief. You welcomed him to God's side. Come alongside us in the darkness and bring grace and peace to everything that is broken. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The Shadow of Sorrow, John 19, verses 23 to 27. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. And they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who will get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says. They divided my clothes among themselves and for my clothing they cast lots. And that is what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus, were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Loving Jesus, we carry the weight of the people we love, concern for their sorrows and suffering. Our care for them is deep, and sometimes there is not much we can do. Come alongside us in the darkness and cradle the ones we love in your strong hands. Oh, holy Jesus, how have you offended that mortal judgment has on you descended? Oh, most afflicted. 
Jesus, I it was denied you. I crucified you. For me, dear Jesus, was your incarnation your mortal sorrow and your life's oblation, your death of anguish and your bitter passion for my salvation. Since I cannot pay you, I do adore you and will ever praise you. Think on your pity and your love unswerving. The Shadow of Despair, Matthew 27, verses 39 through 49. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him now, if he wants to. For he said, I am God's son. <clears throat> the bandits who were, with, who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried in, with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge and filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you know what it is to feel that God is far away. You know what it is to call out for God's presence. Come alongside us in the darkness and help us call out for God. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Mom. 
such love and sorrow meet. Oh, thorns compose so rich a crown. Were the whole realm of nature The Shadow of Suffering, John 19, verses 28 through 30. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there, so they put a sponge full of wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Suffering Savior, in all our thirst, in all our sickness, in all our longing, in all our pain, you are there. Come alongside us in the darkness and walk with us through all our suffering. I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. All along the pilgrim journey. Lord, I want Jesus to walk with thee. In my trials, Lord, walk with me. In my trials, Lord, walk with me. Lord. 
the shadow of death. Luke 23, 44 through 49. It was about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance, watching these things. Dearest Jesus, even in death you are there. When we mourn, when we are afraid, when we come to our own end, you have been there too. Come alongside us in the darkness and carry us through death to life. Word. 